Alright guys, welcome back to Power Plays. We are still in this battery zone thing. I hate this stage. Uh, it's not one of things. It's better than the Genesis. Oh, you got the blue... What do the blue rings do? Uh, I think... I don't really remember, to be honest with you. you like bonuses or something? I think like it puts it into... I don't... I don't really remember. I have to wait until I get hit, which is probably gonna happen really soon. Oh yeah, what were we talking about last time? Oh yeah, that the I don't have monetization on YouTube anymore, and uh, I just found other means of monetization because, I mean, YouTube's a hobby for me. It's not my job. That like that's the best way to look at it. I have like, I have like a very well-paying job, so I don't need the YouTube money, but I do it mostly for like so I can have extra cash for if I need to buy new equipment or stuff like that. That's why I made the Patreon essentially. Because back when I made the Patreon, I that like, was genius. Sorry, I was not making enough money to where if my equipment broke, I'd have to stop YouTube. Like that's that's the point I was at. Like I wasn't making nearly enough money to be able to pay for that, so that's why I started the Patreon. Now I'm making a lot better money, um, but uh, I still have it there just if people want extra stuff and and for equipment budget. That's basically the way I see it. It's my equipment budget, so. And not that I've made a ton of money off Patreon or anything else, on uh, the brand deals, not really brand deals, but affiliate deals. Um, but, you know, it's there if people want to show their support or not. Honestly, I, I don't, I've, I, I'd still be happy making zero dollars. I just like playing, making videos and showing people cool stuff. And I've, it's funny because people, like, will be like, yeah, I watch your videos and they're real fun. I'm like, oh yeah, thanks for watching. So I just think people just watch them in the background, or like if you're bored, need something to do while you're like eating or something, just yeah. watch a couple of videos of this. Post a video a day. So I think sorry to interrupt. The first no, the first like power play I ever watched. Oh yeah. I haven't watched all the way through, but it was like um, Mega Man X X six. I actually hate X six so much, and I remember when I was playing through X six, I was like, I want to see maybe what he does. To like maybe help me out. I just remember your buddy talking about his curry, or you were talking about your friend's curry. Oh, and I remember like instantly being like, "Fuck, I want some curry did, right now." Did, did you like? Um, did you watch that playthrough all the way through? Like, did no. you? Oh my god, his story to, times. No, I didn't. I probably should watch that. Oh man, like the stories he tells. Like he worked at a game store, so he talked about like these stories, like about the crackhead that came in, and he was like, who really liked Jane Fonda and the. Uh, the, the person we titled the Ico Hipster <laughs> because the guy had like white hair and came into his shop and like scoffed at the fact that he told him to buy the remaster on PS3. <laughs> he has some funny and then there's a later story he did during Skyward Sword called Captain McDonald's, which is a superhero legend from Ottawa. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's great. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I like about doing, like, CJ's one of my favorites to record with, because he just has full of, like, dumb stories, and he also makes fun of me the whole time. <laughs> so he's like, he says, he's, it's almost like he says what the comment section is thinking. <laughs> yeah. That can't be good. Comment section. It's, it's funny, because the most common comment I get, actually, not so much on my Let's Play channel, but because I'm not usually showing myself, um, but my review channel, the most common comment I get is, you're fat. And I'm just like, Okay, you don't need glasses, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like, thank you. Very observant. I and I always respond to those because I like I want to see if they're like if they're chumps or not. Um, but now that I said that people are going to comment on this video saying you're fat. Challenge accepted, man. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I'm fat. <laughs> We're all fat. I'm actually like a skinny ass motherfucker. It'd be funny if people start going in the comments saying you're anorexic. I'm like, uh, thanks. Well, I, I'm pretty fucking anorexic. I got my perfect hourglass figure. Like, I'm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, rub it in, you motherfucker. <laughs> What's that? Rub it in, you motherfucker. No, I mean, like, I'm not gonna have that for long, though. This metabolism's gonna go away. Yeah. And people like me, who, like, can eat whatever they want, and you know, we're the ones that are that are like most vulnerable to being obese and oh, stuff. You like, know what I mean, one thing I learned at being age thirty is that, like, even though 
I tell myself, my, my body's like, I want this gross, disgusting food because it tastes good. Like, I always have the memories of how, like, what it does afterwards to me. Like, I, like my brother and I were talking about on the way here. Oh, we it's love really weird. We love DQ's flamethrower stuff, like their flamethrower wraps and their burger and whatnot. I love it. It's delicious, but I always feel awful after eating it. Like. So like when I have it, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have to like chill for the next little bit because I'm gonna feel terrible after eating this food. So that's why like I don't try to eat that stuff anymore. But but there's like I still go to McDonald's for their iced coffee. Their iced coffee is superior to the Tim Hortons. McDonald's coffee in general. Well, because it's the old Tim Hortons friggin' recipe. That's why I hate this motherfucker. Do you have a lot of like a oh fuck. Oh, do you have a lot of, like, American fans? Oh, yeah. Actually, la- it's funny. Last night while I was streaming, one of my American friends was saying, hey, I can't stay long because uh, I gotta go watch Letterkenny. I'm like, what? So for those of you who don't know, Letterkenny is a uh, Ontario-made show. Um, is it, I thought, that's, that's a Canadian game. It's, it's a Canadian show, yeah. And so I was like, wait a minute, what? So when an American dude was saying he was there to watch Letterkenny on TV, I was like, what? I got confused. And then we started talking about the Trailer Park Boys animated series. I love that just Trailer came out. Park Boys. Um, Not the, I haven't seen the animated series. And uh, uh, what else were we talking about? We talked about, um, uh, oh my god, I, like fucking, all I remember is just like, you started talking about Letterkenny, and I was just like, how, like, how do you know what that is? <laughs> like, I, I was really confused. I'm like, that's a Canadian thing. How do you know? I don't know. And, but uh, apparently, Trailer Park Boys and uh, Letterkenny are popular in the States. So, I don't know. If you, if, by the way, those of you listening, if you haven't seen Letterkenny, it's friggin' great. There's a new show that uh, Megan told me about. It's called Shit's Creek, which is basically the same idea as Letterkenny. Because um, there's a place in Ontario or somewhere in Canada called Shit's Creek. Yeah, <laughs> Shit's so, Creek. And I get it. Shit, up Shit's Creek without a paddle, get it? Uh, but uh, I want to see Shit's Creek. I want to see these shows. I've only seen a couple episodes of Letterkenny, but I fucking love it. It's great. It's authentic for Ontario farmer banter. I need to watch that show. Sorry, I'm kind of focused. Yeah. That's, oh, all. Yeah. that's why I'm kind of like firing. Oh no, that's fine. That's why I'm here, to talk while you're uh, being focused on being good at this game. I... Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I don't want to like be cocky and say like, oh yeah, definitely good. But like, there you go. Yeah. Trying to boom how are there. Not with yeah, me. I will die all sad, man. <laughs> you do, we both do a pretty like interesting, accurate, but different um, L- no, show. L- the, like die all hope. Like bang. Oh yeah, what, what's your favorite family guy thing again you were saying? Oh, uh, what was it when he... When, um, hey, hey, Peter. He's like, hey, hey, Peter, you want to come in and watch uh, Grey's Anatomy with Bonnie and I? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. That just sounds off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love how we both have, like, different impressions of they sound kind of well. I didn't do it very well hey, there, but... Hey, yeah. Peter. <laughs> you want to come in and watch <laughs> Grey's Anatomy? Uh, Grey's Anatomy with Bonnie and I? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. That just sounds terrible. <laughs> this, this is a cool boss. Spider. I hate this boss though. Spider. Oh, what? you know who I wanted to be a good guy so badly? What? Um, it's gonna be really obscure. Mega Man Command Mission. The spider. I don't want him to be a bad guy. Oh, this, oh, Spider. Spider. I wanted him to be a good guy. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's the uh, it's the Six Ranger trope, right? I know what you like. Mean. The 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 a person who's on par with the heroes comes in and they serve as a bad guy and eventually they become a good guy. But it doesn't happen in every show, right? Yeah. I just I like, I don't know, I like to uh, I don't know what I'm going with. There reminds me of another Power Rangers trope uh, that I remember. The uh, the female villain, the female humanoid villain is always uh, either the best villain or secretly a good guy who's been turned evil. Like a good, like a good person who's been that's the that's a that's a big power just trope. Yeah. Like it happened with almost every every humanoid villain character in Power Rangers. Like not all of them, but a good but a good like chuggle. Yeah. 
like, uh, oh, what was her name? Uh, um, oh, I can't remember their names now, but, but yeah, like, if you look it up, like, it, like that's a trope in the series, just like the Six Ranger trope. Ooh, remember how earlier we were talking about what characters we want to see in Sonic Mania? Who do you want to see as a playable character? Oh, Amy. Yeah, Amy. Uh, probably like what you said, SBO and Vector. SBO and Vector would be nice. The came to my mind. Uh, you know what? This one's a long shot. You might People might not agree with me, but I think they should put, like, Metal Sonic in. Metal Sonic? Like, yeah. Yeah. They already have all the sprites and stuff in. Um... Why not just give us a Metal Sonic and, and like, make him, like, make him OP because he's a robot. Or like give us a, se a separate mode where he's moving backwards, you know? I would he's say a bad guy. I would say Blaze, but Blaze has already been in enough games. Blaze is definitely a fan favorite, but Blaze is, like isn't really a classic Sonic character. Just like Shadow isn't in Green. I'm still going with Silver Man. Like Silver, like with the boxes in the stage, I could see that being really fun. Yeah, but again, they'd have to reprogram the whole fucking game if they put him in, so it's never gonna happen. Maybe in a future one, Christian Whitehead uh, puts Silver and Mania 2. Silver for Mania. Yeah. Silver and Mania 2, and gain some kind of ability. Was that Dynamite Heady? What? Oh. I thought it was Dynamite Heady for a second. Oh, man, yeah, sorry, I'm just getting pretty yawny. Um, yeah. What time is it on the thing? Oh, on this? Uh, uh, you got a couple minutes. Alright. Probably after you do this, Blue Spear Mini game. We'll probably go for a few more parts after this, and then we'll just we'll, we'll stop for the night. Wait, I just think I'm taking a break, actually. Yeah, I'm like, if you can't tell, I'm starting to die down a bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll what was gonna say we'll do two more parts, and then that'll be done. That sound good? Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Like, we'll do that, and then I'll be another recording session. Yeah. Oh shit! How do you fuck? I mean, I meant to say, how do you fucking do this? And they came out as how, how do, do you fuck? fuck? How do you merchant? In mercenary position for the purpose of well, Mish missionary. Uh, for the purpose of did I say missionary? You said mercenary. <laughs> oh, whatever. Missionary for the sole purpose of recreation. It's my favorite pose. My favorite. Uh, is that is that? The, I don't know what that's. Uh, is that an American Dad reference? Probably. I have a friend that mentioned that to me. So probably where he got it from. Missionary purpose of appropriation. <laughs> That's a terrible title of the video, but it might have to be now. Missing here. Oh, fuck. Oh, that worked out the best. Oh, yeah. Okay, you got two more rings to get. Where are they? It's even stressful just watching you play this. Yeah, see that shit? <laughs> That's some that freaking shit. action. Fr That's some freaking frick. That's some freaking line. Look at that freaking coin. <laughs> Alright, guys, next time on Power Plays, we will finish off the garden. See you then. You freaking fricks. You angered Sonic. <laughs> Hey guys, do you like to save money on games? I know I do. Down below, I have some bundles from Indie Gala where you pay a couple bucks and you get a bunch of games. So if you want to save some money on games and support me at the same time, check it out. Anyways, I'll see you on the next episode.